I just want to apologize for my voice in advance. Friday we had a pep rally and I was like screaming the whole time. So I lost my voice there and then yesterday was homecoming and um, if you guys follow me on Snapchat you would have seen that my homecoming like doesn't look like a homecoming, it looks like a weird rave. <laughs> So I was like screaming there and stuff, but now I don't have a voice, but I want to get this video up for you. <laughs> but I want to get this video up for you guys, but I also low-key love my voice like this. Like I wish my voice was always raspy and kind of scratchy. And I told you guys on Twitter that I was going to do a chit chat, get ready with me, but the chit chat was going to be questions and answers. So I asked you guys to tweet me some questions and I'm going to be answering that during this get ready with me. So if I don't emphasize that much on the products, um, I'm gonna have them all linked down below. Okay, so the first question is from Theodora and she asks my favorite song. I, I like always have a lot of favorite songs, but I also always have that one song that I wanna turn on in my car. So right now, that song would probably be Liquor by Chris Brown. Sorry by Justin Bieber is a jam right now. That is such a good song. Since I don't really want a lot of face makeup on. I'm just gonna use the Smashbox BB water. The next question is, can you name 10 pros and cons about moving to LA? I don't know if I can name 10, but I can name some pros and cons. The pros is that there's always something to do. There's only like a party to go to, or if there isn't a party to go to, you know, friends are always willing to hang out, and that's really fun. Another pro there is that it's a motivating place to be. Um, if you are really interested in having, you know, good connections out there with like, if you're a model and you have like your model agency out there, if you're an acting person and your agents out there, like there's a lot of really nice career opportunities out there. A con about LA, I personally can think of more cons just because I thought LA was the place for me, but then I moved there and I'm like, oh, it's not really the place for me. Some cons is that, I think this applies to pretty much everywhere, but it's a city. So driving in a city and living in a city is way different than living and driving in suburbs. So there's a ton of traffic in LA and you have to pay for parking and it's always a big process to do anything. Like I remember I would wake up one morning and be like, oh, I wanna go to Earth for breakfast today. But it would just take so long to get to Earth, and then you'd have to search for parking, and it was normally valet parking you had to do because that's pretty much the only parking that the Earth on Melrose would offer, and that was the closest one to my apartment. And it was only four miles away, but it would take me about 40 minutes to get there because of the traffic, and there's just like literally no easy way to get around anywhere in the city. So that was a kind of LA. It's just the practicality of living there isn't really there. Um, yeah, there's Ubers and stuff, but like Ubers get expensive and you don't always want to have to have to search for a car, but on some other terms, it was nice to not have to drive. Like every time I go over to my friend Kenzie's apartment, which was like pretty much every single day, I would never drive my car there. I only drove my car there one time and it was a pain because her apartment doesn't really have parking options that are long term. It's like a two hour meter parking, so I'd you know, park my car and then I'd either have to go refill the meter or I'd have to move my car after two hours and then I'd have to wake up early and move it. And it was just like annoying to park there, which is something that you really take for granted when you live in the suburbs. It's like you can just park your car outside of their house or like outside their neighbor's house and no one really says anything, no one really cares, but you know, in a city you have to pay for parking all the time and that's a con. Another thing is LA is a very distracting city. So I know that when I went out there, my intention was to work and to make really good content for you guys and put out really good YouTube videos and um, meet with my manager a lot and just like work hard out there. And um, sometimes it felt like there was so much going on of my social life because LA has so many opportunities for everything that I would sometimes feel like I wasn't doing what I want to LA to do in the first place. So I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. So the next question is, how can I make money if I'm really lazy? <laughs> um, girl, I feel that. There's a lot of ways to make money when you're younger and maybe you can't go get a job because you're too young. Or maybe you are old enough to get a job but you're just like literally too lazy. Um, I would suggest to get a job, honestly, just because the work ethic 
is a really good skill to have. Something that I know a lot of my friends like to do is they like to go on Opinion Outpost. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard about it. A lot of other YouTubers talk about it and a lot of other people use it too. Basically, research companies just want people's opinions like you and me on important topics like food, music, um, politics, just anything that's like current and up to date. And they kind of like reward you with it so you can get like cash, you can get Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, and that's just because they want to kind of improve the products that are going on in like the industry that you're surveying for. It's a free website that thousands of people use, so it's reliable, it's not gonna scam you. Um, another cool thing is that you automatically receive one free entry for a $10,000 quarterly prize each time that you take a survey, and there's no limits on to how many entries you can have, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have a link to it down below if this sounds interesting to you guys. I know that a lot of my friends use this and they actually really like it, so I just thought I'd share that to you guys and let you know about it. Um, you also do have to be 18 to take any surveys. In other ways, if you're young, you guys can babysit. I used to babysit all the time, and when I was too young to babysit, what I would do is I would mother's help, and that's basically like when the mother is home, and you kind of just play with the kids while the mom does whatever she has to do. Like, we're just going to go really bronzy and sun-kissed and light today. I think like Gigi Hadid. Is that how you say her name? Whoa. Um, what social media app do you like the most? I probably like Snapchat the most just because it is so instant and so personal. It's really, really fun. Um, it's like daily vlogging and a lot of people also ask me why I didn't keep up with Vlogtober. I don't know. Like I really don't have an answer to it. And I know there's like no excuses because like Casey Neistat for example has a family and a full time job and he still has time to do all this stuff. Um, but also if you notice the man doesn't sleep. The man I am convinced is superhuman somehow. What was the question though? Oh I like Snapchat because it is like vlogging. It's so instantaneous and it's such a personal connection. It's kind of like just Snapchatting with your best friend. And I think that's really fun to do. If you guys want to follow me, here's a shameless little promo. My Snapchat is Mac 101 This is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder, by the way. I really like it. Um, it doesn't leave a white cast, and it just really like erases all your pores. So, I really like it. Okay, my next question. What is your favorite part of your makeup routine? Probably my highlighting, because it just gives me cheekbones that I don't have. I have such a round face that sometimes contouring, I love contouring and it really warms up my skin, but sometimes it can be way too harsh on me. But highlighting, I can add tons and tons and tons of highlighter and it doesn't ever really look too much on me, so that's what I really like about it. All right, next question. What do you plan on doing with your life as like careers or houses, family, etc.? I am very ambitious. I've always been super ambitious. Um, and what I want to do with my life constantly changes. As of right now, in terms of family, I definitely do want a family. Ask me a year ago, I would have said absolutely not. I don't want to be married, I don't want kids, um, I don't want a house, all that sort of stuff. But now I absolutely 100% do want a family. I want a big family. I want at least four kids. I think that would be so fun. I want a house um, around where I live now because I used to hate the area that I lived, but I actually, when I came back from LA, I realized that I live in a really great area and that it's amazing because I can drive 40 minutes and I can be in the center of Philadelphia, or I can drive 40 minutes and literally be in the middle of nowhere. So I will definitely see myself living here, but I definitely also do want an apartment in New York, I want an apartment in LA, and I also want a lake house in New York on Lake Placid. I've like really thought about this a lot, so I plan on having four homes, and I think that would just be so amazing and so fun. Um, as for the kids, I know what schools I want them to go to, um, but if they want to go to public school, they can. If they want to go to private school, they can. Like, I'm totally going to let them decide where they want to go. So that's what I want to do in terms of family. I'm going to keep going because I'm talking too much. In terms of career, it changes all the time. Right now, what I want to do, um, I definitely want to stay in the realm of YouTube. I want to eventually become a talent manager and a CEO of like my own YouTube network where I would you know hire 
other talents to be in my network and I get them like brand deals and I get them gigs and stuff and I kind of just do what my manager does now. If you guys are watching this and you want to be on YouTube and I don't know, you are going to be on it in like 10 years, 5 years, maybe I will be your manager one day. I think that would be really fun. That's my career plan and I plan on having that occur in New York. I, I'm trying to bring... I'm gonna try to bring LA YouTube to the East Coast because the East Coast is where it's at, people. Alrighty, the next question. What's your favorite makeup hack and tip? By the way, I love you. I love you too. And my favorite tip, probably to put down a transition shade before you contour, or else it's just gonna be like a really, really stark contour, which I had the other day on Friday and I didn't even know it. It was so embarrassing. I took a photo, I'm like, oh my god, is that me? Like, it was really embarrassing, but it happened. What language would you like to speak fluently? I would love to be able to speak Italian. It just sounds like such a beautiful language. It's just very hard to learn a new language. So anyone that is bilingual, trilingual, quadlingual, whatever, um, you are what I want to be in life. So good job. What was it that sparked your interest in makeup? Um, okay, I shouldn't have done my face makeup first. I didn't think this through. Um, nothing ever sparked my interest in makeup, to be completely honest with you. I always had something for makeup. Honestly, it's been in my blood since I can remember. I never had one event that was like, I love makeup. What is the best brand of makeup for beginners? That's a really good question. Um, there are a lot. I would definitely recommend NYX is really, really good. Another really good cheap one is Essence. They're sold in Ulta, and they're a very good brand for their prices, but NYX definitely is top on the charts. In terms of getting a lot of makeup for a really cheap price, I would say Crystal Scent or BH Cosmetics. But I do remember when I was just starting out, I would look on the website and I would see a palette for like $30. I'm like, oh my god, I'm not spending $30. Um, when you think about it, you get a lot of eyeshadow or blushes or whatever for $30 or $18. However much the palettes go for. Um, so it's worth the money. Oh, this is a good question. How do you get through high school with your channel and not being judged? I want to start one, but I'm too scared of what people will say. Well, I will tell you this. If you make YouTube videos, you will always and forever be called by your username. So people will always call me MacUp or now it's Tori Sterling. So you will always be called by that and you will always, always be identified as, you know, the girl who makes YouTube videos and um, expect people to watch your videos at your school. So that's just what you have to expect, but you can't take them calling your username as an insult or anything like that because you you just can't be too sensitive. I mean, this year especially, I've had a lot of girls come up to me that go to my school that are younger and say, hi, like I watch your videos, I love them, can we get a photo, stuff like that, which is really sweet and it warms my heart and I love it a lot. So. There's definitely two different sides of it. I mean, there's people that are going to really respect you for it, and there's people that are going to absolutely think it's ridiculous and they're going to make fun of you for it. And it just depends how you choose to be treated. For me, I just know that everyone knows that I do it. I don't try and hide it. Um, I take pride in it, and I'm happy with what I do, and that's really all that matters. Um, I don't know if I'm making much sense because I'm filling in my eyebrows, so I'm really focusing on this right now and not really the question. People are always going to say something regardless of what you do, so I say you just do what you want, girl. Ugh, <sighs> mascara. I really like this makeup look because it's nice and clean and fresh. Like, I think I'm going to do this like all the time. Alright, that's it. Like I said, I'm not doing my hair. Let me just back up a little bit so you guys can see the full effect. Here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what video you guys want to see on Thursday. It's not too late for any Halloween videos. If you guys want to see a tutorial or anything, I can totally give us a tutorial. And I guess that'd be the last day for it because Saturday's Halloween. So just let me know in the comments and I'll do it for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.